A growing number of complaints have people asking the same question these days. How much can you trust the post office to deliver important packages on time? Well, the inspector general for the post office is now tracking performance numbers for regions across the country. And as Fox Eyes IT reporter Randy Travis discovered, the Atlanta region has a long way to go. This is called Sweet Sweet Honey. Mm. Yeah, I can taste the sweetness of it. When your business is butter, I can eat this whole jar. Your product can't be sitting for days in a postal warehouse. You build a brand, you build a reputation, and just in a second, it can all collapse. Working out of her Tyrone home, Deborah Clemens created Infusion Blends, a line of flavored butter products that she sells through TV appearances like this one on QVC. What you can do with them is pretty much amazing. In February, Good Morning America featured her products as part of Black History Month. I started getting orders online, on my online store, the same time that they were buying it in real time on TV. And every couple of minutes we refresh and go, oh my God, look, we even so more. Her email subscribers went from 800 to more than 9,000. She decided to use the post office to ship all that butter, two day priority delivery plus insurance in case anything went wrong. Lots went wrong, a complete butter meltdown. Did I think there would be a problem? No, not at all. You trusted them? Oh, very much so. It's the post office, they're everywhere. Customers complained the shipments didn't arrive within the two-day window, requiring her to give refunds because the packaging had melted and the butter could have spoiled. But Deborah would have to file insurance claims for hundreds of other boxes customers say never arrived. It's a pallet. Where is it? Yeah, where is it? It's a question a lot of Americans are asking these days. What did the post office do with their package and will the problem ever get fixed? A recent Senate hearing tried to find answers. I'm from a small state of about 900,000 people. I've gotten 3,500 messages in the last year, 3,500 messages in the last year complaining about delays in postal delivery. A blind woman testified her braille reading material took months to arrive. A Baltimore business owner who sells bank checks failed to get important purchase orders. In one particularly egregious example, a union office in Oakland, California, mailed an order form on February 25th of this year, and we received it on June 10th. The post office inspector general seemed frustrated too, blaming some of the delays on cutbacks in overtime and widespread management changes by new postmaster general, Louis DeJoy. Change at the postal service is, is very difficult to implement well. The IG now plots performance issues on a map, dark blue being the worst. That's Atlanta, not as bad as the Maryland and DC area, but trailing most of the rest of the country. I just don't understand how they're allowing this essential service go under like this. In Deborah's case, the post office made her file individual claims for each missing or late box, then denied 145 of them because it disputed her proof that she had dropped them off in the first place. She says another 78 claims were only partly paid. We sent the post office's Atlanta region lots of questions. They delivered a one sentence answer. We take these matters seriously and are working closely with the customer in an effort to resolve the matter. As far as my business is concerned, I, I'll never send another package through there. A priority message from a customer no shipping company should want to receive. In Tyrone, Randy Travis, Fox 5 News.